Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Likewise. I'm a BCBA, and I am passionate about helping other people pass their BCBA exams. So every Sunday, I make a video for you. I call it Study Sunday to help you understand the terms in really simple, easy uh, ways to understand it. So today, we're going to talk about habituation. <music> Hey guys, and welcome back. Like I said, today I'm going to define habituation for you, which is something that someone people get really confused about all the time. And someone sent a question in saying, what is this? Well, when you think about satiation, right, we know that satiation is when a child receives so much reinforcement that it's no longer desirable. Let's just say, like I said, you go out to dinner, you love chocolate cake, it's your birthday, you have bread as an appetizer, and then you have an appetizer, and then you have a meal and you're stopped. And the, the waitress says, do you want any chocolate cake for your birthday? And you're like, I love chocolate cake, but I'm so full. I couldn't possibly eat it, right? That's satiation. Well, habituation is a similar concept, but it relates to punishment. It's when a punisher is no longer effective because you've experienced so much that you've gotten used to it. So let's just say you have a, let's say a parent, right, is constantly yelling at a child for everything that they do, and the child is just initially, right, the, the child gets reprimanded from this parent, and they're like, oh, and they try to monitor their behavior. But let's just say this parent never lets up. No matter what this child do does, the parent is always reprimanding them. And eventually, the child just learns to tune the parent out, right? The punishment no longer has any value because they get accustomed to it. They're like, okay, whatever. Or let's just say that, you know, every, as a teacher, you, you give a child, you take five minutes away from recess. And let's just say that a child is calling out and your, your solution is you're going to punish this child by removing five minutes of recess every time the child calls out in class. And then the child loses recess three days in a row. By day four, they're going to be like, whatever. Like, they don't even care anymore, right? They're like, I don't even care. Like, just whatever. And now your punisher is no longer really punishing because the child habituated to it. They gotten accustomed to it and they don't frankly care anymore. And that's really all habituation means is that a child doesn't care anymore. An adult doesn't care anymore about the punishment because they've gotten used to it. So you want to be really careful when you're using punishment that you don't uh, provide it so frequently that a child just gets used to it. And if you're punishing so many things or using punishment all the time, it loses its value. So you want to reserve punishment, obviously, only for when it's paired with reinforcement, only when reinforcement has um, has not historically worked by itself in the past. And you want to fade it quickly because, again, if you're using it too much, it's going to stop working and then you're going to be back in a situation where nothing works, especially if you tried reinforcement alone and that didn't work. And then you're trying punishment alone, but you're not really pairing it well with reinforcement. And then the child gets used to the punishment. Then you're in trouble because now you have nothing to go to. This is why it's so, so critical when you're using punishment that you also are really strengthening reinforcement procedures to make sure that you can fade that punishment and switch back to reinforcement. Otherwise, habituation will occur and you're left with nothing to do to manage a behavior. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. You know, someone sent this question in, which is why I'm making this video. If you have a question, I'd love to make a video for you. Head over to my website, hopeeducationservices.com. There's a contact form on there. Just fill it out and I'll answer your question next. Also, guys, if you like these videos, subscribe to this channel and drop a comment. Let me know because I was going to stop making these once I passed my BCBA exam until people started asking me to keep making them because they enjoyed them and it was helping them study. Well, I like to know that because it's reinforcing to me. It's the reason why that even though, you know, I'm working nonstop and I don't need to continue studying, I'm taking time out of my personal time to make these videos for you. So I'd love it if you could just drop a comment and let me know you found it helpful. Have an amazing week and I'll see you next Sunday for a study Sunday.